Hello everyone and welcome back to C4 Plays! This time I am joined by a special guest! Hello! Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, who will now reveal himself? <laughs> That's right, I'm here with Gunpowder Cash. Which you could probably guess because I'm standing outside of his house. The best house. So, I want to create things for the server that everyone can use and enjoy. And one of the things that I would like to create is a wither fighting uh, place. I haven't really come up with a clever name for it yet, I apologize. Luckily I'm always disorganized so it's not really all that new. <laughs> but um, to do it, I really need something that the wither can't destroy which would be warded blocks and so I need a uh, nether star in order to create the warding focus you can get nether stars super cheaty like by uh, doing it in the crafting let me show you the recipe here nether star See, you can you can take skeleton skulls and the soul sand and a bow and a and diamond sword and bam, you get one in the crafting menu. But that's cheap, you know. And like, I could make some power armor or or whatever else and make a super easy, cheap way of destroying the wither. But but we're not about that, damn it. We're doing it the hard way, <clears throat> right? Yes, we're not about that. <laughs> I mean, we're about being overpowered and shit, but, like, you know, this is the, this is the wither fight. The first time you fight him, at least, you gotta do it. I mean, I'm about to make the cheapest way ever to make a wither farming spot, you know? So we can have all kinds of, of nether stars, but to get to that point, we have to do it legit the first time. Right? Right. Right. All right. right. So, uh, I made Gunpowder. Well, I didn't make him. He just chose to uh, to to make him some armor instead of his uh, power suit. He still has fifty eight fucking health, and I'm stuck at my like regular ten. I guess it's twenty, huh? Yeah. Each half is is a point, so I'm stuck at twenty. But that's okay. It's gonna be all right, guys. Don't even worry about it. I'm not sure what Gunpowder's doing right now. I think he's making some, some kind of food. Foods, man. Foods. I put everything important in this ender pouch, which is connected to an ender chest, which is actually connected to my brand new storage system that looks like this amazing corner right here. It's all this stuff. It's actually not. Uh, I have a very small, very basic setup that Gunpowder was, was very kind enough to donate to me. I didn't even have to build nothing. He gave it all. So I'll show you guys that later. Um, make sure to watch someone else's videos for the how-to because I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't, I've done it before. I have set up this like basic ME stuff. I've set that up before, but it was confusing as shit then, and it's confusing as shit now. So... I'm not about to try and be all like, Oh God, it's easy to just slap the box there and then move the wires over here. I'm not that guy. It's just not going to happen. Sorry. I think I'll keep yeah. the stuff it's super easy, though. What the fuck? Well, Apparently it's easy. System. My uh, berries in there keep popping into people and I don't really get it, but... Very strange. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the uh, that's the goal here. Just so everybody knows, if you have a multiplayer server and you have Ender tanks, I highly recommend this setup, where you have a tank that is red, red, red for lava, and it's public. Get yourself an age just like we did. That's all lava, and get yourself a pump, and that way everybody has access to the infinite lavas, because that's just smart. I also have a aqueous accumulator that is set up to blue, blue, blue for water, which not super necessary because, I mean, anybody can get water, but still, useful. You can just throw one down and then pipe it from there instead of 
you know, having to set up an aqueous accumulator every time. I'm just saying, be u useful to your server. Like, let people know that you're awesome and stuff. I don't know, I got nothing. I'm just waiting on gunpowder to finish cooking. So this is what I have access to right now. Enjoy. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of Get away from that because it's... Uh, oh, I also made some burnt caramel. If you want burnt caramel. Burnt caramel? You want, you want burnt? Sure, yeah, give me a piece of burnt caramel. Okay, let's go over here. I'll eat so some burnt caramel. That won't suck it up. Suck it up. There, there's burnt caramel. Mmm. And, uh... There. It does say burnt caramel. That's funny. What are these? Caramel apples. Sweet. What does the burnt caramel do? I can't eat because I'm hungry. I can eat this, though. Yeah, it doesn't. Just, just eat one? Actually, actually do anything, apparently. Oh. Oh, well. Are you ready? I'll make us hamburgers next time. Yes. Okay. We were going to get well fed, but apparently we're not going to do that because the things doesn't work. Look at all this stuff, though. All right, hold on one second. I'm better. Look at all this stuff. Like, you can make... Oh, God. Oh, God. I broke them. I'm sorry. I didn't what? mean to. Who? They went Why? into the thing. These, these, these first two Oh, yeah, they, pieces. they break super easy. Just with my fist. I'm sorry. Let's go. I just have this bad tendency of... of Punching things when I'm. No, they. I know. Like, <laughs> it's really bad when you do the oven because there's oven racks in it and they fly everywhere. And it's oh, horrible. It's crazy. But look at this. Eventually, we're going to be putting stuff like this into our uh, treehouse when I have more of the house of the tree built, which will come. I promise. We're just getting Thomcraft up and running and all the useful server stuff. Hey, you wanna? You wanna What's show off my? You wanna show off my reactor? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do that, actually. So, you guys know that I've been doing the, the Thomcraft stuff, like magic-y type stuff, and I got the cool nature thing going on with with the tree and everything. And Gunpowder has this alloy smelter, and this strong box, and a sawmill. They're amazing! Actually, no, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, bam, baby. Bam. Look at this. Look at this. And then up on the top, look at this. Look at it. This thing makes more RF per tick. No. No. That one. But what does the reactor do? It makes a different... This is a different reactor. This powers my sorting system and my machines. Oh! This powers, this powers my lasers. How much, how, much does, how much does this do RF per tick? Um, twenty nine hundred, almost three thousand. I could do more, but I this Jeez. uses least. It uses the uh, least amount of fuel uh, while still giving me the output that I need for my machines. So this is a ridiculous amount. I could get it up to about fourteen thousand. Fucking. And then this, you said it was what, like 29,000 RF? 29,364. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? And each one of these uh, power ports can output 10,000 RF per. So I have two Tesseracts, both of them hooked up to my laser. So it's and receiving it goes, 20. Right. And, gotcha. And it's. You guys might remember the, the laser. It's outside. I kind of showed it off, and he gets stuff from the void, and oh my god, he can power the world with this damn thing. Yeah. I like it. That's just insane. It's huge, it's fuck, man. Yeah. That's what I've heard. <laughs> I'm going to fight the wither now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo! meant the reactor. Uh-huh. What you were thinking. Okay, so, to do the wither fight, uh, we will want to obviously not fight near anything, because he will explode the world. And well, uh, if, if we didn't already turn that off. 
He's still gonna do land damage, isn't he? Nope. I mean, creepers don't, but... Nope, we turned off mop griefing. Oh, well, sweet. So, so we can, can find him, him anywhere. We can find him anywhere. Except for the fact that he flies. And that Whoa. gets annoying. Yeah, but we can fly. Yeah. But when he drops everything, if he's in the air, where's it gonna go? I don't know. It's true. I was just planning on fighting him in the, in the nether. Because that's where he, you know, belongs. Resides. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so you, let's go get... Do you have the skulls? No. Okay. Do you have the skulls? I was um, assuming in the mob farm we had them. I was hoping. Well, oh, we... Whoops. We got two. We can fix that. Let's fix that. Hey guys, how would you like to have the demonstration of how this all works? I don't know why there are so many fans, but there are. It's to push everything to the middle because it's greater than a 5x5 five five area. Aha. Aha. Oh no. Okay. It's missing a block. I need to make more. I ran out of stuff. For the dark glass. That's the skeleton. Oh, damn it. Out of here. Exact copy. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, edit God, a let me bit out. of this. <laughs> this is gonna be the best episode ever. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Huzzah! Alright, now we'll just. Now we'll hope for another skull. Anytime. There we go. There's one. Probably should have made a cleaver and all that fun stuff. And we'll get one soon. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice shot. Made him mad. So they spawn out here, by the way, sometimes. So. Nice. <laughs> I can't hit me. Can't hit him. Ow! Ow! Sir! If I'm standing behind you, I get hit. Sir. It's get, this thing has a range. Yeah, it does. Yeah, what now? Alright, we're still at two. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it until we get our third one. Because, you know, I really don't want to bore you guys with us just standing here waiting, you know, so. <laughs> Be right back! And we're back. No. As you can see, we have all three of the wither skulls we need. So now, we proceed to the nether. So as to get... Uh... The... Soul Sand. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking weirdo. It's hard to do. It was kind of impressive, I'm not going to lie. You even had to, like, get under it and stuff. Sorry about the rain sounds. They're loud. What can I do? Oh, yeah. I've actually not flown over here in a video in quite a while. There's Naren's place. It looks the same. He's mm -hmm. done nothing. The slacker. And then this is a Dritten's place. And this motherfucker. Like, just... God See, damn. Just, 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 uh... I've not been in here, been here for a while. That is impressive. <laughs> Darnell thinks so too. Yeah. So, it's your boy, and his name is Darnell. I'll just put that over there so it's not as loud. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> snowing in Rome, though. It's... Yeah, it's weird that it's snowing in Rome like this. But this is. This is bitching, man. Like, uh, I can build, but there are definitely people that can build things. Like, I would never be able to build this. I don't think. Maybe, but this is fucking impressive. He just does this shit. Like, look at the pattern on the floors, man. Like, he has different, like, blocks that do, that connect like this to make it look. Like, that's fucking detail work, man. That's awesome. That's cool as shit. 
Anyways. And then Gunpowder used to live here. And then over there is Ozma's place. He's actually built himself quite the little house. And in the distance you can see all the flowers. That's because he is letting his shit get taken over by bees. The bees are real people. Yeah. If you haven't gone over there and scanned all those flowers, you should. That's a good call. I should. But anyways, so there's all the the flowers and Ozma's new place. He's still figuring out some of like his roofing and whatnot. I believe. I think that's what he said. But anyways, let's go to the nether and kill the wither. Ow. My bad. <laughs> there was a guy behind you. All right. Trying to save your life. Why is there like an open spot on all these lamps? Because I took some back. <clears throat> I needed them. Very nice. All right, so off we go. Oh, yeah. Um, while we were waiting on the wither skulls to, uh, to spawn for us, uh, I went ahead and hooked up some some heart canisters. We have the the mob spawner there, and so there was a bunch of red hearts, and so we bossed up a little bit. All right, where is some um, soul sand? There's some soul sand over there. Hopefully the nether star doesn't fall right into the dam. Uh, uh, lava or anything that would, that would suck. That would be pretty bad. Where do you want to? Uh, where do you want to fight him? Here. Is this a good spot? Uh. Buh? Sure. It's kind of how I felt. It's like, um, uh, sure. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then we just place the heads. Are you ready? Yes. Is everyone else ready? Everyone? Yes. <laughs> They're not ready. Okay. You got a block on your head, you silly looking bastard. Yes. Ow. That stupid bats kicking your ass. Alright, fucker. Oh, oh, where'd you go? He's way up there. I don't, I don't oh, want to fly back! You. Yeah. We got Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got him, I think. Yeah. 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 Where's the, where's the star? The sigil. Star! Ha ha! The star! We have the nether star! Oh, I threw it down to you. Right there. Is that sigil? Or? Yeah. Behind you. Behind I've got four of them. Behind me. Oh, I already Probably picked it up. That way we can go to the uh, the deep dark. Which eventually we'll do. I've got okay. the sigil ready to go. You just need to make the ingots. I've got the cobblestone ready to go. Yeah. And this weekend, we we could go to the end. Because I got that ready. We could, I got the staff ready for the or, uh, promised land. Promised land, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong way. And deep dark. Oh, you. Yeah. All of the dimensions. All right, so I probably have enough time left on this video to actually make the the wording uh, focus. Would you care to join? Sure. Okay. Mm. Kind of lagging a little bit. It's weird. I'm it's okay. consistent lag. Yeah. It's just... Every once in a while. All right. Where's thermometer? Um. Where did I put my thermometer? No. Is it upstairs? Maybe. I hope I didn't put it in the other chest. Let me check that. Alright guys, I'm going to pause while I gather the materials we need, 
and they will make the thing. Okay guys, we got all the materials prepared, all of our essences has been cooked. We're gonna need some of the brains, some of the order stuff, some of the tutamen, and some of the mountain, green mountain shit, grass, whatever. Terra. Yeah, Terra. So we're gonna put the nether star in the middle, and that's all I remembered. So <laughs> So, uh, okay, nether quartz and quicksilver are across, okay, everything's basically across from each other, so it goes order shard, nether quartz, earth shard, quicksilver. So, order shard, nether quartz, earth shard, quicksilver. Boop, boop. That's right. Let me double check you. Yes, that's right. Okay, good. So put that earth shard back. Where's my wand? There's my wand. Alright, so we'll need to keep an eye on this, and if anything pops off, we have to replace it immediately. Are you prepared, Gunpowder? Uh, I'm prepared to watch. Okay. So I don't have any of the stuffs. Right. Why? It begins by draining all the aspects it needs. <coughs> Which, if I fall off, you can see all the. Oh, oh God, something no. blew up. What, is, what, what was? Uh, Quicksilver. Figures while I was looking. Oh God. Figures while I was looking over the edge to kind of show off the the aspects floating. Which, if you drop down real quick, you can actually see the aspects floating up towards it. At least I think you can. I can. Bubbles! You just missed some nether quartz floating up into the sky. Uh, the... <laughs> it went to taint. It, like, purplified to taint. And, uh... Then the taint sometimes floats off into the sky. I hope it doesn't ever, like, rain down or something. That would suck. If it ruined my tree, I'd be pissed. Yeah, we need to invest in those flowers. I can make them. Last one. Booyah. It's a thing. Yep. Okay. Put all my stuff back where it goes. And then I have the wand focus of warding. <laughs> Which I can see all these blocks being warded. Gunpowder, please try to mine any of these blocks. You can't! Moo ha! Moo ha! Moo ha! Ha ha! Moo! Ha! Moo! Ha! And so, what we're going to do is we're actually going to. Uh, create a nice little place not this episode but eventually we will create a nice little place that uh, we can push the wither into the ceiling and then kill him at our leisure without him being able to hurt us and that's how that's gonna work so I hope you guys have enjoyed I hope you will enjoy your uh, warding focus because this is like the best fucking focus in the game Nothing will ever be damaged. Like, if we had creeper damage on, if we had mob griefing, mob griefing on, then you would see even more. Because they can't blow it up, but we don't, so it's okay. But still. Right? Right. Actually, you know, we probably didn't even need this, considering mob griefing's turned off. Like, the wither can't explode things. So if you shoved his head up into the ceiling... He wouldn't be able to explode his way out. Probably would. Oh. Well, still, nobody can mine into stuff. Yeah. I save my tree. Yeah. Save the tree. I could turn Mob Griefing back on. Maybe. Maybe. 
Let's see. Didn't work last time. But I can try again. That's true. I remember when we tried to do the thing. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, stuff. Thank you again, Powder, for being here. Totally. Totally. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.